ghetto shit you've ever seen like you know you grew up in the hood when this is your solution to turning your chassis the right way Right, welcome back guys. I know it's been a while since we've had an Audi update, but we're back with the fifth instalment, part number five, numero cinco. <laughs> so yeah, we took a break last week from the Audi. I did a review on my mate's Merc, five litre V8. So if you haven't seen that, go click up there and then come back and watch this video. because It's one of my favorite cars at the moment. So go check that out. So today's gonna be a bit of a long haul. I've got the dashboard to do with the passenger airbag and it's a big job. It's not necessarily one of the most difficult jobs, but it is long. So I've got the new dashboard behind me. We've also got a few more goodies. We'll see how far we get in this video. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Right, <clears throat> absolutely typical weather. It's sunny for the whole week while I'm working. As soon as I get out to do work on the car on the weekend, it's thrashing it down. So well, it's not thrashing it down, but <laughs> it's raining and muggy. Right, so we're gonna get doing the dashboard. First thing we're gonna do is take the center console out and then that allows us to get to the bottom of the dashboard and work all the way up, so let's do it. I was gonna take the center console out first, but I got carried away. This one's out, she needs to be unplugged and then we're good. First panel out. Yeah, baby. Right, first panel out, one of many, let's go. Okay. Right, I've just taken the clocks off. As you can see, they had one big connector there. And then I've come up to the top here and taken the speaker off now. I just had two screws either side connected into the dash. That just pops up. Right, so we got these trim panels that just come off. This one literally pries out and you pull it out and it's off. This one pries out at the bottom and then you just remove these electrical connectors down here. And then once you've got those off, you've got access to these bolts, two here and two up there. And then you can remove the center Audi console off. So let's do that. Slide up. There we go. There we go. Now that's off. You can start removing some bolts to get the whole centre console out, and then we can get the dashboard out from the centre. Right. Just taking the centre console out now. I can just pull this out. There we go. Oh. Hey, championship belt. I will not be defeated. Now it's time for a cake break. What cake have we got today, Manny? Coconut. So good, isn't it? One pound at Tesco, guys. Tastes like a fucking cloud. What? Rainwater. Rate that cake. That's an eight out of ten. Not bad, man. Well chosen. Always important to take a break when you're working and uh, appreciate your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Car park. <laughs> All mad. <laughs> right, let's take this little paneling out. We've got most of the parts off now. Took the dash. No, oh, sorry. Took the glove box out. It's in the back seat. Everything's off. I think I might have to disconnect the speakers, but we're going to try and take the dashboard out now, so let's see how it goes. Christ on a bike. Squat that then. <laughs> no. Oh my god. How's it feel? You did it. Anti climax to be honest with you, because now I've got to do the same thing all over again. <laughs> Get the thing back on there. Whoa. Yes. 
smile. That's not Pete Patrick. That's not a smile. He's like, oh, Wait oh. until I get. Okay. Right. So I've just managed to get the dashboard into the back garden. So this is the old one, and that's a new one over there that we've got to swap over. And it actually came off of an Audi S5, so it's got the Quattro badge on there. But the old badge was just an Audi badge. But maybe I can get an S-Line badge there or something, as the car is an S-Line. It looks like it's all fitting up well. I've just got to swap over a few things. I'm going to swap over the speakers just in case those don't work, because I know mine works. I've tested it out. But yeah, it's nice to see uh, a dashboard without the airbag blowing, so let's get to it. The only thing I've noticed is different is the airbag here. It's quite different to the airbag over there. Um, so I'm hoping that when I put it back in, it won't be too much of a problem, but because it's from an S5, maybe they had upgraded airbags or something, who knows, but let's just see how it goes. got a new dashboard all the parts have been changed over I gave it a little clean as well because it's quite dirty this is what the car looks like light, before you're gonna be amazed when it goes back in <laughs> slowly <laughs> you help no I feel like you do I'm oh, fine need help oh, that's better Thanks. Yeah, gone. Hey, she's in. <laughs> okay. Right. We've got the dashboard in place now. Just gonna go ahead and put the glove box on and start getting all back together. So, yeah, let's do it. So it's getting pretty late now. We've done a lot of work off camera. We're gonna call it a night for now. It's getting quite late. It's about 10 o'clock at night. So tomorrow I'll hopefully be able to show you this little area with a bit more light and get the rest of the uh, the dials on the dash back on. So yeah, let's go tomorrow. Right, it's a new day. Sun's finally out. A little bit windy, so hope that I don't affect sound. But we've got the frame that goes onto the dashboard that connects everything else. So we're just gonna go ahead and stick that on. that sad little face it's been a tough ride everybody needs to like and subscribe and show you some love down in the comments to get a smile back on this sad little face for one subscriber month <laughs> for just one subscriber an hour let's make this boy happy pretty much got all of the uh, under panel on now all screwed in all bolted in just time to close it up Finally getting there. Come on. Nearly there. <laughs> right, let's get this L C D screen back on for good now.
เออยืมเออโอ้ well that scene tied finish That's what's done, baby. Now that the dashboard's sorted, we're going to move on to the next part. So we've got a fresh wing in, black S line badge already on there. So we're going to go and try and fit it on there. Obviously, we've had problems with the frame, so we're going to make sure we can get the frame to fit up on the top of this wing. So let's take it over. Hey, babe, where'd you get that part? Um, eBay. Maddie found me this wing, by the way, and she wants everyone to know about it. Yeah, I do. I'm so proud. Thanks, babe. Cheers. <laughs> I owe this whole project to you. Thank you. <laughs> right. Just testing out the uh, front wing now. It's lining up pretty well. Down here, we can get an even line all up and down here. So it's just lightly bolted in at the moment. Now, the only thing that I am noticing is at the front here, if you come and have a look, it's not actually lining up see where that hole's got to line up there so gonna have to what i'm gonna do is screw a bolt into there wrap it around with a chain and pull it out enough to be able to fit this into there so yeah right so whatever i'm trying here isn't really working i've had an idea basically to use those poles over there what do you reckon maddie should we do it try. should we try it ghetto shit you've ever seen like you know you grew up in the hood when this is your solution to bending your chassis the right way I don't know how successful that was, but it's just, it's just pulled the whole bolt out with the case and left the whole head. Yeah. So yesterday ended on a bit of a bad note. So obviously wrapping a chain around a pole and then putting it to your frame isn't the best of ideas but I was kind of running out of options in the state that we are at the moment it's been quite hard to contact people and find someone that can actually help me finish this build and I've been contacting a lot of companies um, asking for their help with the frame their frame and everything even welders to see if we could weld a new piece onto there but yeah I, I feel like it's been getting a little bit desperate for me with with the frame which is why I thought you know what let's just give it a go what's the worst that could happen if i'm going to get someone to weld a new piece on anyway but yeah it's quite stupid of me i guess it was a good productive day with the dashboard getting replaced and putting in i just you know i've been wanting to push myself to get this done and yeah i just kind of messed it up a bit there so bit of a lesson learned i guess i have had a lot of problems with this project already and i'm only halfway through even though it might not show to you guys that i do have these problems they do crop up and i have to deal with them and a lot of the time they're expensive a lot of the time they're time consuming a lot of effort is put into them for example i've bought three different radiators you know to find the right one that fit my car i bought seat belts that haven't arrived i bought curtain airbags that haven't arrived and i bought bracket for the fender that came and it was a wrong piece and i've had to you know go through all this process and these things happen when you're taking on a project like this so it's not really a big deal it's just that i'm quite an impatient person and i don't like losing and when something like that goes wrong i just think right that's another hurdle but at the end of the day i i pushed through with it i didn't actually film the rest of this because I, I just kind of completely forgot about it i was in my own world and wanted to just get it done but basically what i did i'll show you in a second basically what i did was get the thread and open it back up again hammered it back into its position in the frame and managed to actually get it to fit pretty well so that the whole wing actually joins up to the rest of the car so i'm going to show you that now let's take a look 
Right, so as you can see, the wing's actually on there now. And it's on there pretty well. The whole lining down here is not bad. And most important of all, it actually, the door opens and closes without it making a noise or scraping, which is great. So yeah, we'll have to make some more adjustments. I haven't really put the wing back on properly. So as you can see, the bolt has lined up here with the frame and it's all fitting good with the slam pound and everything. The bolts are lining up at the back here as well. Um, and really all I need to do is find a way to make the thread in here as secure as possible to make sure that when I hammered it back in, it stays in. See what you guys think. I might have to just find a way. I'll look online, see if I can do my research to find out what I can do about that. But I'm actually pretty happy with the way that that's fit now. But yeah, just get back in the car, it's quite windy. I mean, at the end of the day, the, the video might not have gone in the direction that I wanted it to go at the beginning or when I first started making the video, but you know what? I've made some really good progress on the car. The dashboard being put in was such a huge relief. It took me 12 hours in one day and then a few hours in the next day to actually get it done and like, just take every problem at a time as it comes and you know eventually we got it done hopefully next week's video we're gonna have a lot more positive content in there yeah hopefully less problems will go wrong with the car because this has really been probably the biggest problem so far in the car that i've encountered but you know what we move it's cool if you're watching this video and watch me struggle and you haven't subscribed yet go down and click subscribe it's the least you can do for watching me struggle this whole time but yeah we we're gonna get there we're gonna get there with this project don't worry about it i'll see you guys next week anyway with another update we're gonna have the bumper install and i'll show you guys what other stuff we got hopefully we'll have the seat belts finally here and start doing more work to it and yeah one of these days we're gonna get it sorted so yeah cheers for watching guys see you next time